What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So real quick, we are gonna be doing a Nightmare Dungeon T100 with our brand new Fireball Meteor build. We got some glyphs to level up. We're gonna do this 100 and just kind of showcase this off. Um, this footage will, this footage is just gonna be a straight, a straight run, but you guys will probably also see some of this footage in the build guide after we do this. We just gotta get two of our glyphs to 15. But yeah, we're just gonna run through this. I'm, I'm not gonna really talk about the build too much, but I just kind of want to showcase the build and show it off and just kind of really have some fun with the build because it is um it is super super fun meteors is is just great um you're not necessarily like speed farming this in any like particular way but uh you definitely can just like power through this really really well um and just have a really good time with it Meteors is is extremely, extremely fun. Let's not die to Storm Bane, by the way. We're just kind of blasting through. I don't want to, like, kill absolutely everything. I mean, I guess we can. We still just dominate these guys, you know? Like, get these dudes out of my face, man. I was so happy when they announced the starfall coronet and just kind of bringing meteors to the forefront of sorcerer now i don't think that it's you know the best build that sorcerer will have i still need to test a lot of other builds just for relevancy like ice shards and blizzard and then um you know ball lightning to see how big the nerf is i know it's about a five times nerf maybe a little more um so it'll be it'll be great to see how strong these other builds are in comparison which is really nice but so far i have been doing nothing but enjoying playing meteors and having a tau rasha-esque you know a tau rasha-esque uh experience like from diablo 3. i thought it's been nothing but a blast so far oh let's make sure that we we throw this on here, right? The store bane needs to stop following me around. It's kind of annoying. I don't like him. All right, and I'm going back to the entrance chat, so don't follow me. Don't let me be your guide in the dungeon. <laughs> I'm going to steer you the wrong way. <laughs> oh, and let me tell you real quick going through this. Lightning Spear, I've been talking about it to my chat all night during the stream. And... Lightning Spear is like an MVP for this build. The changes that they implemented to Lightning Spear is just super good. Okay, super good. Being able to just stun these guys because we crit so easily is is just a godsend. Not only is the, the vulnerable damage awesome, right? Like vulnerable damage is always good. But being able to just Throw a lightning spear, get some more conjuration damage, and keep these guys like CC'd is just fantastic. So definitely a dub on the devs for changing that. I think that was huge. Capitalizer, what's up? Welcome to the stream. He asked me, am I going to be playing Barbarian this season? No, I will not be. If we get to Barbarian, it's going to be one of the last classes that we would do this season. The next... The next class I think I'm think I'm gonna do is is between Rogue and Druid at the moment. Um, it's it's between Rogue and Druid. Uh, however, with that said, I mean things can always change. I think I think Necro would be the absolute last build I would do. I might not even play Necro this season because I don't know why the devs are just you know taking a big huge dump on on Necro for whatever reason, but they are. So. I would play probably Rogue or Druid first and then play Barbarian. And after that, uh, I would play Bar I would play Barbarian second to last and then play Necromancer. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Are right, you damage reduction increased monsters? Oh my god, my nemesis, dude. I hate suppression. Just blast 
fantastic. Really. Yeah. Stop suppressing my damage. That's right. That's right. That's right. Get stunned. Dude, now I almost want to put remnants on for this. Thank God. Stop slowing me. I need my ghost walkers back. I, part of me wants the devs to work on, like, hiding in this game is just so much, so different than it is on Diablo 3. I wish the kiting was slightly better. But unfortunately, it's not. I feel like I'm going through the whole dungeon. Where is this item? Okay, now I'm just going to the boss. Okay, I must have killed whoever. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just talking to you guys. Alright, let's take down this boss. Let's see how well we do. Let's get our cooldowns. Let's get our cooldowns. Alright, let's kill this boss, man. Let's do it. Blood Bishop. Get stunned, first of all. Stop running. Stop running. Meet your maker. Stupid slowing projectiles. Oh yeah, get CC punk. We are no remnants and no to Balt's will. And I love it. Although, Tabalts could definitely be swapped in, but... We're gonna CC him again. Yep. There we go, not bad. Not too shabby, man. That's a T100 for that booty. Barb is so OP, it makes sense. Yeah, Barb is uh, stupid strong. Yeah, guys, T100s, easy, knock them out, no problem with Meteors. Uh, once we get all of our Glyphs leveled up, because we are just sitting at 15, one is at 13, one is at level 1, this is a no-brainer, no-problem kind of build. I've been having an absolute blast, guys. Like the video, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Um, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.